Gunfight at the OK Corral on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray is released by Kino Lorber. It can be found as a slipcover edition available at your online retailers. Now, I've always been a fan of Westerns, as well as the story of Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday. Tombstone is still my favorite in that regard, but this classic Western brings together two Hollywood legends, Burt Lancaster and Kirk Douglas. Both of them portraying the pair, I think they do a great job. It's a well-done story and a snapshot of Westerns made in the 50s. Gunfight at the OK Corral on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray has an aspect ratio of 185 to 1 with native 4K resolution, and it supports both HDR10 and Dolby Vision. For purposes of this review, I will be discussing the Dolby Vision encode. Kino Lorber's 4K release of Gunfight at the OK Corral comes from a restoration from the original camera negative provided by Paramount. Now, before you let out a collective groan, I'll start things out by saying this transfer is truly top tier. The restoration team must have been working overtime because the source is exceptionally clean. Try as I might, I was hard pressed to find anything seriously amiss here. It just looks fantastic. Film grain is resolved very well, no signs of management or DNR. It's a fine layer, but it's certainly present. The 4K resolution bump gives a staggering improvement to detail. Close-ups of costuming is so clear now that one can practically count the threads. Facial features enhance textures quite nicely. Dirty faces and sweat-filled brows are practically lifelike, as is the clarity to the gorgeous landscapes. I personally find classic movies that were finished in Technicolor to be among the best looking out there. Gunfight is no exception. Not only do the Western style earth tones show an appreciable boldness, but the variety of colorful costuming, blue skies, and eye-catching landscapes offer striking vibrancy. Skin tones skew naturally warm and whites are strong and stable. Black levels are appropriately deep, dark, shadowy, dimly lit interiors are dialed in just right. Gunfight at the OK Corral on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray supports a DTS 5.1 as well as a DTS 2.0 audio mix. For the DTS 5.1, it does an admirable job with what it has available from the source, bringing a more open soundstage. Of course, it won't stack up to today's audio designs, but a good amount of ambience and the film score do make good use of that particular real estate. The bulk of the audio cues are placed firmly up front and certainly deliver a clean presentation with no source issues. Dialogue is clean from start to finish. The low end doesn't leave too much of an impression, which is understandable, and it doesn't make much of an impact. I sampled the 2.0 track and it will no doubt be pleasing for those that want a more purist experience. Audio is clear and precise with no problems to report. Aside from a new audio commentary by C. Courtney Joyner and Henry Park, and a bunch of trailers for other films, there is nothing of note for supplements. I listened to around an hour or so and there were some pretty interesting tidbits from the pair. If you're a fan of the film, I think it's certainly worth your time. For the picture quality, I'm going to give Gunfight at the OK Corral on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray a solid A. I honestly have no notes. This is a really fantastic looking transfer. The palette is nicely enhanced with Dolby Vision, the source is clean, and green is very cinematic. All in all, a very impressive picture. For the audio mix, I will score this a B. Time has been good to the film's audio tracks as they both are solid in their overall delivery. The 5.1 gives a more expansive experience and the 2.0 is presented well. Either choice will make most fans happy. As for the extras, I had to score this a D. Only a commentary track accompanies this 4K disc. It's a shame that more effort wasn't given to getting some deep dive stuff, so if you're a supplemental fan, you'll most likely be disappointed here. So that is my review of Gunfight at the OK Corral on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray from Kino Lorber. If you're interested in picking up a copy for yourself, I will leave a direct Amazon link in the comment section below. If you use it, it really helps out the channel. But now I want to hear from you. Do you have the 4K disc? What did you think? Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.